Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys an updated version of how I curl my hair with my straightening iron. This is a straightening iron I got a very long time ago. I think I've had it for around three or four years and it still works great. I actually got it at a mall kiosk back in Florida. If I can find a name, I will put it in the description box for you guys. So without further ado, if you guys wanna see how I curl my hair using my straightening iron, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first I start out by obviously brushing my hair and then I spray some heat protectant spray. This one is from Pantene. It works just fine. It's not anything out of this world, but it does the job. Next, I part my hair in two around my eyebrows and all the way to the back and I just put up my hair in a bun. Here comes the part that shows why I have to do this video as a voiceover. No shame here, I know you do it too. So I section off a piece of my hair, not too thick, and I start by running the straightener a couple of times at the roots. And then I grab the hair and sort of toss it over the iron and twist the iron a full 360 degrees. Stay with me, I know it looks complicated, but I will show it again. Okay, so I twist the iron a full 360 degrees and it sometimes helps to grab the point or the edges of the iron. It's not supposed to be hot because the plates don't get to that point, just be careful. See here how I grab the point of the iron to help twist it around? The key to getting loose curls is to hold the iron almost vertically as I'm showing here. Also, I try not to get a section that is too big. It is easier to do this method with less hair in each section. Vertically and slowly, if you don't like the curl, you can always go through it again. I like passing the straightener a few times at the roots to avoid the kink that that iron leaves behind and to make sure that I grab all the little hairs and to smooth out my hair because my hair tends to get pretty frizzy. I've seen my hairstylist do this all the time and I just got it from her. The other side is a bit harder for me because I'm right-handed, but it is basically the same thing, just that the iron is now pointing up. So to avoid that the hair comes out of the iron, I sometimes hold the hair in place. This can get pretty hot, so sometimes I just maneuver the iron so that it is slightly angled where the hair can't leave the plates. It sounds pretty difficult, but you just have to kind of try it. If some hair comes out of the iron, you can just curl the piece Piece of hair that fell out separately. Just make sure that the iron is still sort of vertical because that's what gives you the looser curl. For the sections that start at the back of my head, I can't reach with my iron if I stretch my shoulder. So I just pass the iron at the roots first and then I curl the rest. Because I hate it when the back of my head has a bunch of kinks and waves that didn't get straightened. Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? And then I just repeat this for my entire head, which takes me about 20 minutes. I do this method because I can straighten and defrizz my hair while also curling it. It would take me much longer to separately straighten and curl my hair and it would cause more damage.
Also, if a piece turned out too curly, you can run the straightener through and reduce the curliness. If you don't like the way a curl turned out, just let your hair cool down a bit and then try it again. Or like I said, if a piece of hair falls out of the iron, you can just curl that piece separately. It's also good to adjust for weather and humidity or environment. With the zero humidity in Edmonton, my hair stays curled for days, but for a more humid or windy place like Aruba, you might want to have tighter curls which will fall out through the day and use hairspray after each section. Honestly, it just takes practice. I know you can do it. I believe in you. this is the final look i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something from this technique i know it seems a bit difficult to get used to the hand motions i've been doing this technique for about six years myself so i've practiced many 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 times and now it's just like second nature to me i hope you try out this technique and if you do please show me pictures you can send me your pictures on instagram i'll have it in the description box below and if you did enjoy this video i would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel i will be posting much more content in the future hopefully not like last time <laughs> not like last time so yeah i'll see you in my next video guys enjoy your day bye